it over the Jew. God damn. He's like Jason Mimosa, right? If it didn't work out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a great guy. How we doing? Everyone's good in here? Everyone's drunk? Woo! Fuck yeah, what's up? Hey, swinger couple. How we doing, man? Good? Yeah. I'll see you in the parking lot. Hell yeah, I love this shit. Any Mexicans in here? I knew I smelled downy. Hell yeah, man. Ah, man. God. A lot of you think that joke's offensive. I think it's squeaky clean. Relax, okay? Or let it fresh, whatever you guys like. Yeah, yeah. Now, I am Mexican, so please hide your white daughters and your tools, okay? Because I will take them both. That's right. What's up, dog? How you doing? Hell. We'll be sharing a hole later. All right, this is great. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, yeah, I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, no, but my name is Frank Escalante. For those that don't speak Spanish, it translates to I'm insecure, okay? So don't make direct eye contact. It's just gonna get weird. It's getting weird right now, yeah. Now, I'm insecure, very insecure. I don't like my voice, very corporate. This is what happens when you have a lot of best friends named Noah growing up, okay? This is what happens. Not very good. I don't like it. Is there a Noah over there? Ah, dude, fuck you, man. They got this. It's because of you, bro. Fuck it right on, dude. All my family hates me. They think I sold out. It doesn't make any sense, man. <laughs> fucking weird. Fucking weird. No, I'm insecure. I'm about as insecure as my love handles. I don't like them. I don't like these babies right here. Because from the outside, it looks like I, I'm moderately healthy. You know, but if I take my shirt off, it looks like God took a day off. That's what it is, okay? Not very good. Yeah. No, but I can't. I'm, I'm what you call skinny fat. Yeah, I can't choose sides. It's very annoying. I can't choose sides. And by size, I mean collard greens and mac and cheese, okay? Because I'm constantly hungry. It's just going through here. Yeah. I currently live in Utah, Salt Lake City. Oh, yeah. Woo Who's from Utah? Anybody from Utah? Nobody? Okay, because they're all fucking kids. That's what they're doing, all right? They're back home. Now, I fucking hate Utah. Utah sucks. Utah, it, Utah is progressive aggressive, okay? What that means is I've got told them five times, go back to California instead of telling me go back to Mexico, okay? <laughs> That's a step in the right direction. I'll still take it, okay? Fuck it, yeah. No, but yeah, Utah's got some weird laws. Everything's closed on Sunday. Everything's closed. I was trying to go to the gym on Sunday, and the gym was closed, and I was like, fuck, I guess God doesn't want me hitting my quads today. This is kind of weird. And they say God works in mysterious ways, but I've never seen God put 575 on the squat rack, okay? I'm just saying, just throwing that out there. Yeah. No, but you Mormons, uh, they hate drinkers. They hate whiskey. They, they hate beer, but they especially hate whiskey. The reason why Mormons hate whiskey is because the majority of the barrels are aged 18 years, which is far too old for a bunch of the Mormons there. Don't blame me, I'm not fucking these kids, goddamn, Jesus Christ. Jeez. They like a good nine or 10 year old barrel, you know, they can do without adult supervision, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, can't, I don't know why you guys are getting fucking mad at me, okay? I'm just reporting on the front lines, okay? That's what I'm saying. Weird, very, very weird. Now, I'm originally from Orange County. I at least I live down the street, like literally a mile away. Yeah, Anaheim, that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anaheim, Anna Slime, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. It's weird. Uh, I, what I've noticed living somewhere else is the Utah, is the Orange County homeless is very pretentious, very uptight, they think they deserve more. I was trying to buy my way into heaven one year, and I gave this guy, uh, this homeless guy, some Del Taco. Okay, I go up to him, I'm like, hey bro, I got you some Del Taco. And no shit, he goes, is that Del Taco? And I go, yes it is. And he goes, oh don't worry man, I had that last night. <laughs> the next phrase he says will forever ring in my mind. You know what he says? He goes, don't worry man, God got me. <laughs> this is God getting you, motherfucker. Del Taco twice in 24 hours? That's pretty damn good. I had to eat it right in front of him to show him how serious I was. I was like, you made me do this. Ah. Yeah. But uh, when I was over here back in OC, I used to uh, I used to go to strip clubs, a lot of strip clubs. Taboo, anybody strip club fiend? Yeah. Woo, yeah, I saw you back in the day, yeah, right there, fuck yeah, glitter, right? Yeah, man. Got a little sore down there, so fuck you, okay, cool, yeah. No, I used to go to strip clubs. The thing is, I'm very in my head about things. I ask a lot of questions when I shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? It's very uh, intrusive. I got this lap dance one time from this lady named Einstein. Einstein. So I'm over here getting my dance, doing my thing, and everything like that. And I go, why do they call you Einstein? You know, are you smart? You're Jewish? You got a high IQ? And she goes, well, it's the reason why they call me Einstein is because I exclusively give hand jobs to older gentlemen. Yeah, makes them feel like time is relative. I was like, what the fuck is going on? 
So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try one more, let me see if this is good. I get a lap dance from this girl named Bambi. Bambi, okay? So I'm like, okay, you like the outdoors? Are you in the forest? Are you fun? Are you sexy? What's up? She goes, no, the reason why they call me Bambi is because both my parents were shot and killed. Yeah. And honestly, I was like, you're not Bambi, you're Batman. Get the fuck out of here, man. God. Go save the city. What's fucking wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. I'll leave y'all. I'll do uh, two more jokes real quick. Uh, my dad recently died. Okay. If you guys can just do something for me real quick just to make me feel better. Can you guys just start booing real quick? Start booing. Man, it sounds exactly like my dad. Goddamn, God. <laughs> Love you, <laughs> yeah. Now before before you dive, we're trying to do some we're trying to do some uh, some bucket list type shit together. You know what I mean? I was like, hey dad, we should climb mountains. But before we climb mountains, let's get high. We should get high together. And he stops me mid sentence. He goes, Frankie, I can't get high because if I get high, I get horny. <laughs> I was like, hey dad, I just like as a friend. Okay, relax, dude. I know we go way back. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, but one of these theories that he had, one of these crazy theories that he had is that uh, John Lennon from the Beatles is Mexican. You guys ever heard about this theory? The reason why he says that is because John Lennon has a song called Strawberry Fields Forever. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, but usually Mexican people, what they do is... They pick strawberries, it's usually fields, and it's usually... that John Lennon is Mexican is that he beats women, okay? So that's how you know he's one of us! Woo! All right, guys, I'm going to go for you.